we are discussing Coils, the seminal classic by Fred Saberhagen and Roger Zelazny, two authors of note, not one of their better known books. So imagine the Bourne identity except Jason Bourne could psychically communicate with computers. You have just read Coils. This came out in 1982. Bourne Identity came out in 1980. I want to give them the benefit of the doubt, but this seems to me to be a very blatant cash grab. I don't want to stand in too harsh of judgment of these guys because they are well-liked authors and I don't want to let this book color my opinion of them. But this is a pile of shit. For fair context, I really dislike thrillers. Maybe this is just not for me. Maybe if you are into that genre, then this would be good because this is just that genre. This is just almost flat across the board, 100% genre cliches. There's exactly one interesting sci-fi moment in the whole book and it happens literally in the last two pages. Let's see what's next. End of review. Crystal World. Thank God. I was really hoping for one of the A-list sci-fi books to come up on that random pick because I have worn a little bit thin reading these really kind of bad uh, also rands. So The Crystal World by J.G. Ballard. So I got this at a swap meet as part of a big haul of vintage uh, vintage sci-fi books that I got for really, really cheap. This is a first edition of Crystal World. This is worth over 100 bucks, probably 150, something like that. Um, it was in a video on my other channel, Thrift of Life. J.G. Ballard, I have a bunch of his books and I have not read any of them. And this was actually top of the heap in terms of what I wanted to read from him. So I'm really gratified with this. And I'm um, gonna start reading immediately to get the coils uh, out of my mouth.